Hey, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Satsun. In today's tutorial, it's a continuation of the comparison between the Windows terminal and the Linux terminal. But before I get into that, I just want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a prosperous 2024. And I hope you guys will be successful in all of your endeavors. Uh, and so let's get back to business. What command can I use if I want to display the current user information and it's a straightforward command it works both in windows and in linux the omi command so in linux if i write that omi and if i run that command you can see it gives me the name of the current user uh, in this instance it's sets on and it's going to be different on your computer and on windows this same command works as well it works in a similar way and so if i run that command on windows uh, now it gives me the computer name which is sets on mk and the user which is Satson and so the output is slightly different uh, but it does the same thing All right the second uh, command that we're going to look at is if I want to get system information so uh, on Windows if you want to uh, get system information you run system info the system info command you run that command then it's going to display the information about your system so there's quite a lot here the operating system name the os version the manufacturer configuration product id uh, the system mode or system type processors etc there's quite a lot of information that you can get from this command you can also learn more about this command by running its help so you can say system info forward slash question mark this is uh, for help and then if you run that then it displays all the information uh, the help information it describes what this command does so it says this tool displays operating system configuration information for a local or remote machine including service pack levels so you have parameter list you can pass the forward slash s forward slash u and yeah there is quite a lot of information that you can you know get from this command on linux if you want to get the system information you can use the unem command and you can pass the a flag or you can use dash dash o uh, this is similar dash a or dash dash o if you run that command then it's going to give you the information about your system so linux sets an mk and then all oh, these are the information genuine linux and so there is a kind of information there's the operating system information there's uh, the hardware information and so if you want to learn more about the unem command then you have to man uh you name the man pages so if i run this command then you can and see it says the name here is called your name and then it print system information um print certain system information with no option so a is for printing all information s kernel name v kernel version a m is for the machine i is for hardware platform and then o is for the operating system and so there's a lot that you can do uh, using this command so let's you name dash o if you run that you can see now this this is the operating system gnu linux so that's this is this this part if i run you name dash m for the machine so i'm running on x8664 and yeah all right so for a bonus if you want to get more information about the operating system that you're using on your linux machine you can run this command cat forward slash at c forward slash asterisk release and then run that you can see it displays all the information uh, about the operating system that you're running uh, on your linux machine so distribution id ubuntu the release is 18.4 the code name is bionic and all this information and so that's kind of interesting if you want to get the information about the operating system that you're running on your computer all right so i hope this is helpful if you find this helpful uh, remember to subscribe to the channel leave a comment in the comment section like the video i hope to see you in our next tutorial for now i'm out uh, bye bye